having them go through legal hoops to get signed off on and sell you pharmaceutical drugs. There is no, there's no gravy train. There's no, there's no wheels being greased for them to, to give a legal pathway for hemp to be FDA certified. That is what is happening. They are dragging their feet on this amazing plant because there's not enough money in it. Welcome to the Miracle Plant Podcast, the show that inspires, promotes, and gives you a daily dose of inspiration from the people who have used cannabis to change their lives in extraordinary ways. Here's your host, Justin Benton. Welcome back to the Miracle Plant Podcast, where we discuss this miracle plant with so many names and how it's helping people in so many ways. Well, today we're going to talk about cannabidiol, specifically cannabidiolic acid. And for most of you know it as CBD or CBDA. The A stands for the acidic precursor. What's the plant makes? So leave it alone, uh, just as Mother Nature intended. And we're going to talk about why you shouldn't take CBD. And in fact, you should be taking a whole plant raw uh, supplement the way it was meant, whether you're uh, juicing it like we'd like to do, freshly picked flowers and throwing it in with your kale and your apples in your morning juice and afternoon juice, uh, or if you're using a cold press product like ours, which takes the whole beautiful miracle plant and uses cold press or cold extraction to keep all every 512 parts of the plant exactly the way it uh, was intended for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, we've actually been able to trace our uh, paths crossing humans and this miracle plant 30,000 years ago. And so uh, I want to address why CBD didn't work for you. I hear that from time to time. Oh, I tried CBD. It didn't work. Well, let me tell you why. First off, all CBD is not created equal, right? It's not like eggs or even gasoline has different levels, right? So at the end of the day, CBD is just one part. Cannabidiol, cannabidiolic acid, CBDA, like our products have, um, is just one part of the plant. So again, if you're just using a, a product that is just one part of the plant, which is called the CBD isolate, which means they isolate just the CBD, which means they cook off, burn off, use uh, solvents, uh, you know, whatever types of processing to to basically eliminate the other 511 parts of the plant just to give you some white cooked up powder CBD. Our body doesn't really know what to do with just one uh, you know, specific part of the plant in a white form. That's the pharmaceutical model, right? That's when uh, our body's like, well, what is this, right? We didn't develop over you know, hundreds of thousands of years by uh, taking white powders. That's not how our body is set up to receive. Our body is set up for us to eat things, right? So we eat plants and sometimes, you know, we eat, uh, you know, meat. But our body is set up to take and, and absorb the nutrients from a plant. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do with this miracle plant to get the most out of it, right? And, and you know, kind of a side note here. You know, it was popular there for a while. It's not as popular now anymore. But for a while, people would call up and they wanted gummies. Everybody wanted gummies, CBD gummies. Well, let me tell you, if you're taking gummies or CBD gummies because it tastes good, because it's fun, because it's easy, because you can put them on the go, then that's great. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a breath mint. But if you actually have an issue, a real health issue, like you've got chronic pain or you can't sleep at night or you have... Uh, you know, ex ex you know, anxiety or stress or serious health issue, a serious diagnosis, gummies are not going to cut it for you. Just telling you, what you have to do to the CBD to extract it from this beautiful plant, to put it into a gummy, and then you know, put it in with either gelatin or high fructose corn syrup or uh, whatever kind of sugar junk that they're going to put in there. That's not a healthy thing, right? And it's only, most of them are using CBD isolate, which again, our body doesn't even know how to process it because it's not a plant. So again, we're here at the Miracle Plant podcast talking about the Miracle Plant. We've seen miracles. I've seen miracles in my own family. I've seen miracles around the world. 
and thousands of other families from, from a myriad of different diagnoses and, and you know, from cancer to Parkinson's to Alzheimer's, autism obviously, and, and I've seen the gamut, autoimmune diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, the list goes on and on. And why have I been able to see these miracles? Because we present the plant the way that it was intended, the way that nature intended, the way that it was grown, the way that you should be consuming this plant. Ideally, the best thing you should do is like we've had Dr. William Courtney on multiple times on the podcast. She should be eating it, right? Just like kale. Remember the kale craze? Maybe we're still in it. I don't know. (laughs) But I definitely remember the celery craze. Because like you couldn't get celery at the grocery store. And it's, my hope is, and I visualize and see it happening, is that there'll be a hemp craze. So yes, we had the CBD craze, but now the hemp craze is where there, people are going to realize what I'm saying is true. The science from Dr. Raphael Mishulam and Dr. William Courtney and Dr. Ethan Russo. The science is true. It's proven. It's real. It dates back 8,000 years to medical journals in the Orient that this miracle plant helps our body find homeostasis, which is balance. Our body has what's called an endocannabinoid system that balances all of your other nine major systems. So whatever issue you're, you're struggling with, cannabidiol, when consumed in the whole plant, raw form, just like Mother Nature intended us to, to consume it, is going to help you because it helps your body find balance. Whatever it is, like I said before, if you've listened to the show, I've seen people come in with serious health, you know, some of our stores out here or locations on the West Coast, and they've come in with serious health issues and they got blood work and they're trying to get their bodies back in, uh, you know, in balance. And they'll see from their blood work, like their, their blood sugar levels will, will go down or their blood pressure levels will go down. And their doctor will be like, what are you doing? What's going on? What's different? Sometimes it'd be like, I must have pulled the wrong records. And the reason why this is, is because this miracle plant is helping your body find balance. Your body knows how to find balance, right? When you're seven years old and you get a, 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 a scratch and it you know, like in the morning it's gone or you bounce back from a cold real quickly uh, when you're younger. It's because your body and your immune system is healthy and balanced. But as we get older, we get exposed to more toxins. Uh, you know, maybe we don't eat as the right foods we should be eating. Maybe we don't exercise as much as we should. Um, you know, and, and as much as we should really, 20 minutes a day. You know, if you can get a 20 minute walk in, a day, which everybody can find time to get at least 20 minutes in. That's all the exercise that is kind of like check the box, you know, based on the research and what I've seen through the years. So, uh, and 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 the one of the biggest things that we as Americans have uh, an issue with uh, is water hydration. We are so dehydrated as a country. You know, many of the of the drinks and the things that we're sold. Are, are sucking the nutrients out of our body. They're highly acidic. The coffees, the, the sugary drinks, the Gatorades. You know they won't even sell Gatorades in other countries? <laughs> it's just crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, we have the most toxic food system in the world. The United States of America has the most toxic food in the world. Think about that. Um, and those are the facts. Like I said, there are foods that only you can buy in the United States because there's so much poison and pesticides and preservatives and, and red dye number five or four, or whichever one they're proven now causes cancer, is in our food system. All those artificial flavors and colors and sweeteners, that stuff's illegal in other countries, but not here. So again, I'm telling you the facts, and I challenge you to go research them for yourself. Go, go punch it in. Go to PubMed.gov. That's where all peer-reviewed articles have to be published. You know, you can go to reputable um, you know, medical journals and see for yourself the facts about the poison that's in our food system. So my point is, as you get older, and if you've been exposed to toxins, whether it's heavy metals uh, or pesticides that are everywhere now in our food system, 
glyphosate is glyphosate is everywhere. Um, we're seeing it in you know our water table that we drink our drinking water from to newborn babies umbilical cords. Uh, we uh, we are in a in a very very toxic world, and um, again that's why you know because of these enviro environmental toxins, we're seeing all these 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 diseases and these these uh, in you know these rates of disease skyrocket uh, in the past you know decade or so because our water is poisoned our food is poisoned um, and uh, we're not taking care of ourselves you know I just got back from a trip overseas to Europe and Denmark and you know the first thing that I noticed was that over there the Danes in Denmark first of all they're happy they always win the happiest <laughs> country of the world every year uh, but they're in better shape than we are. They're so much better shape. They're, you know, they're, uh, and maybe that's one of the reasons, it probably is one of the reasons why they're happier because, you know, they like to bike everywhere. You know, there's lots of really great, every, every major road over there, like we're talking highways too, has a bike path, you know, 20 feet to the right. It's a, it's a you know, concrete or asphalt type um, bike path. So every road they put in, they put a bike path in. That's, that's the rules over there. So everyone can take their bike to work or to school and have a nice, safe, flat bike path. Uh, and so that's another form of exercise. But they're in so much better shape than we are as a country. You know, I think our, uh, our, our last I saw somewhere, we were like in uh, number 79 uh, as far as uh, healthiest countries in the world mortality rate um, and it's declining our country's declining we're not living longer in the united states folks you know you might think that you might have read that somewhere and that might have been the case 10 or 20 years ago that is not the case go go look it up go look uh, at the science we are our our, our life expectancy is sh going down in the united states and again the the thing that i noticed over there was people were in better shape in the morning, uh, we stayed with uh, Molly's parents' uh, family, and she has, uh, her dad is from Denmark. And every morning they have breakfast, and they have a nice hearty breakfast with some good foods. And one of them's yogurt, so they're working on their you know probiotics there in the morning. And uh, you know they're having uh, you know some healthy whole foods, some you know fruits and vegetables. And there's, you know, they're into cheese, but it's healthy cheese. You know my son Shay. Uh, is, um, you know, we, we, we do gluten free for him because, you know, his, his body, <clears throat> you know, was, uh, super inflamed and, and he, uh, you know, that's where he got his diagnosis of, uh, severe autism, uh, after a routine checkup at the doctor's office. Uh, you know, he was, uh, the heavy metals, the aluminums, the mercuries are off the charts and, uh, his body couldn't process, uh, couldn't work properly and that's where the inflammation comes in and that's why uh, we, we've stayed away from gluten and dairy and processed foods and sugars because all of those things inflame the body well what's the number one thing that whole plant raw cbda cannabidiol raw hemp the miracle plant does it reduces inflammation which improves circulation which allows your body to find balance or homeostasis so again these are the things that we're talking about we need to understand how our bodies work. How many classes do, these, do our doctors here in the United States take on food and nutrition and exercise? How many required um, you know, classes are they taking? Some are zero, some are one. One class on understanding how our bodies work when it comes to food, nutrition, exercise, and hydration. It's no wonder that we're so out of sync, our bodies here, because our doctors, who we go to when we're sick, aren't being trained the, the basics, the fundamentals of, of how the body works. And what, you know, it's, it's one thing to try and fix something, um, you know, when you've had like, it's called a yard sale, when you're, when you're in a kayak and everything flips over and all your stuff is scattered throughout the river or throughout the lake or the ocean, wherever you're uh, going kayaking. But it's another thing to catch it upstream before the issue happens, before you, you know, went into a, um, you know, a whirlpool or, or a big wave knocked you over, what is it that could have, we could have done upstream? You know, what was the thing that we could have done to prevent the issue? Instead of just working on the symptom,
go to the cause. And the cause is that we're not eating healthy anymore as a country. We're not, we don't have access to fresh, clean water. We do have access to it if you know what fresh, clean water even means. Many people don't know. You know, some people think you can still drink tap water. And maybe you live in a part of the country that's rural, that isn't, isn't rife with pesticides and heavy metals, uh, and then you can drink it. I know over there in Denmark, you could. Uh, the water table was very clean. Whereas here, we have so many, not just pesticides that are in our water table. What that means, it's in the water table. It means it's in the ground, and it bleeds into the water system. So not only is there pesticides, but there's pharmaceuticals off the charts when they measure in the water table. So where we get our water from has pesticides, heavy metals, and pharmaceutical drugs in our water. So what do you need to do? What's the best thing to do if you're in a health crisis or your body's telling you there's an issue and you've got a severe diagnosis? You got to have, you got to get clean water. What's the cleanest water out there? It's distilled water. Distilled water is H2O, right? You give it to babies. H2O is the cleanest, purest water out there. Start with that. Um, after that, you can go to reverse osmosis, which takes out, you know, 99% of the junk, but there's, you know, still some things that are left back. Um, and then there's natural spring water too. So first things first is you got to make sure that you're getting clean water. I mean, I know we're talking about water here and food and food is our medicine here on the Miracle Plant Podcast because they all work together. That's the holistic nature of this plant is you want to consume the entire whole plant in the raw form. And that is what's going to give you the maximum benefit for whatever your health challenge is. And the health challenge can just be pain, stress, or sleep. You know, to some of you, that's just getting one of those boxes checked off um, would mean the world to you. But others are going through a real severe health crisis, health diagnosis, whether it's yourself or a loved one. And I'm telling you, this is how we did it for my son and how I've seen it for thousands of other people, which is you've got to take, you can take control of your health. You've got to make sure you're getting good, clean water. If you weigh 200 pounds, you drink half of that in ounces a day, which is 100 ounces. Good, clean water. You got to make sure that you're eliminating pesticides, processed foods, all the junk that's out there. Look, you need to eat things that came from the ground and that come, came from the ground that don't have pesticides in it, right? That's organic. You know, and, you know, Chris B. Cancer, who was on a previous podcast, Chris Wart, here on The Miracle Plant, you know, he talks about his, his uh, incredible cookbook, uh, which I recommend checking out, and salads and juicing, and, and he beat cancer naturally without chemotherapy and radiation. And our body knows how to heal. We just have to make sure we're giving it the right things. And again, that's why we're talking about CBD and cannabidiol and cannabidiolic acid is because these are the building blocks that are gonna allow your body to find homeostasis and balance to, to heal itself, just like exercising 20 minutes a day at least, just like drinking that 100 ounces of water or whatever that number is for you every day, just like eating good, clean foods, you know, natural foods that actually come from the ground, right? Live foods, you know, fruits and vegetables and just the basics, you know, kind of eat like a rabbit, I always say, you know, and uh, that's going to help with sleep. And when you can sleep, that's how your body rejuvenates and recharges and really can help itself. So you have to make sure you're getting at least whatever that's six or seven or eight hours of sleep every night, um, whatever works best for you. And, and, you know, raw hemp helps your body calm down and you can go to sleep naturally and wake up without any grogginess, without any side effects as well. That's the number three reason people take it, you know, and then there's mindfulness, you know, surrounding yourself with good people would lift you up, surrounding yourself with good books or good podcasts or good communities, things that, that, that lift you up that are at least a net neutral. And sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta decide to set some boundaries and, and either cut some things out of your life, whether it's TV or social media or even relationships that aren't serving you, that are pulling you down, that are sucking the energy out of you. You need to be surrounding yourself with things that lift you up, whether that's exercise can be part of mindfulness, meditation, prayer, yoga, uh, you know, whatever those things are that lift you up from the inside. 
um, I mean, healthy relationships, those types of things. These are the things that the, the five pillars of health that we talk about as far as taking control of your health. And obviously the supplementation and the food is your medicine. That's the cornerstone of what we talk about here because it's the Miracle Plant Show, right? And we want you to understand what's the difference between this CBD and that CBD, right? So the Farm Bill was passed in 2018, signed into federal law, clearly stating that hemp is legal, just like corn and soybeans. Here it is in 2023, five years later, and the FDA has dragged their feet, not given us any clear legal pathway for us to register our products to be FDA certified. You and I both know why that is, because it doesn't serve the FDA slash big pharma anything for them to regulate a plant that can help knock out trillions of dollars of their bottom line in big pharma, right? The FDA set up to make billions of dollars, having them go through legal hoops to get signed off on and sell you pharmaceutical drugs. There is no, there's no gravy train. There's no, there's no wheels being greased for them to, to give a legal pathway for hemp to be FDA certified. That is what is happening. They are dragging their feet on this amazing plant because there's not enough money in it. I'll debate anybody on that all day long. You have another opinion on it. Let's come on the Miracle Plant Show. Come on out. Send us an email to admin at themiracleplant.org and we'll book you to come on and we can talk all day long about what's going on with Big Pharma, the FDA, and why CBD doesn't have a normal legal pathway for us to register our products with the FDA. They kicked it back to Congress. <laughs> because they couldn't regulate it, because there's not enough money in it, and Big Pharma doesn't want it. That's why. Big Pharma has a drug, GW Pharma has a drug called Epidiolex, which is meant to treat children with epilepsy, which is based on an isolate, isolating CBD out of this beautiful miracle plant. And guess what they charge per year to give you a inferior product to treat children with epilepsy? The answer is $32,500 a year to give you a white pill version of this miracle plant. That's what it's about, folks. It's about making billions and billions of dollars. If there's not enough money in it, you're not going to hear about it. There's not enough money from the, the billionaires and the trillionaires out there that are making money off of people being sick to, to regulate CBD in a sense that it should be, right? Because look, there's different levels of CBD. There's different types of cannabidiol, right? The one that's the, the, you know, the gold standard is what's called full spectrum, right? But because the FDA hasn't given us a legal pathway, there's no way to regulate that term. So if someone can slap on their label full spectrum, you know, and you could show a COA on a website, but it's not being regulated by the FDA because they're not giving us a pathway to do it. They've kicked the can down the road. They don't want it because there's not enough money in it. But in theory, full spectrum means like a full spectrum of light that has all the colors of light. So it has all the parts of the plant, a full spectrum of the plant, right? Well, that's what we offer. Those, those are the products we used for my son and now offer to the world is by keeping it as the plant grew it in a cold pressed form, it has every part of the plant just the way it was designed, just the way it was grown. That is true full spectrum. Now, 99% of the companies out there, they heat the plant. Once you go above 118 Fahrenheit, now you've converted the CBDA, you've cooked off the A, which is the acidic precursor the plant makes, and then you turn it into CBD. So now, now you've already taken the full spectrum out of it, but no one talks about that because they don't know, which is okay, which is why we're talking about it. So now you have a cooked down version, which Raphael Meshulam, Dr. Raphael Meshulam, uh, you know, God bless him, who recently passed, um, you know, the original godfather of cannabinoid medicine, proved that raw CBDA is up to a thousand times stronger, more powerful, more effective than cooked down CBD. Right. So anyway, so getting back to the, 
the, the gold standard is what's called full spectrum. Our full spectrum is true full spectrum because it's raw, it's whole plant, it's everything that the plant makes. That is what full spectrum means. Uh, there should be another level above. It should be true full spectrum, whole plant full spectrum, raw, whole plant full spectrum, everything the plant has. That's what we offer. That's what helped our son. That's what helped our son, you know, get his, uh, beat his diagnosis. So, but, it, but in the normal world right now, full spectrum just means that it's got at least some CBD in it, maybe some CBG, and maybe some trace amounts of THC. And that's good enough to be called full spectrum because the FDA has not given us a clear pathway to register our products with them. Um, the USDA has and a state by state level has, so we definitely do it that way as well. But as far as the FDA goes, um, there's no one really regulating that term. So it's supposed to mean that it's got a full spectrum of cannabinoids in it. When you keep it whole plant, cold pressed, cold extracted, not only does it have a full spectrum, which means all of the cannabinoids, but it has all of the flavonoids, you know, all of the, the building blocks of this beautiful plant that are all left alone the way they were, all the amino acids, all the fatty acids, everything's there. Whereas, you know, there's plenty of products out there that, that just leave, you know, sprinkle in a few cannabinoids and they call it full spectrum. So that's why there's such a huge difference when people will come up to me and say, hey man, I tried CBD, it doesn't work for me. Well, the reason it didn't work for you is because you just took CBD, right? You didn't take the whole plant. You certainly didn't take the whole cold pressed whole plant, right? That's, that's the difference. That's the main, that's it. It's the plant versus a component of the plant. It's 512 plant constituents versus one plant constituent, right? I don't care how good that, that violin player is, in, you know, or even cello player like Yo-Yo Ma in the, in, the, in the symphony. When you bring 512 you know, players, the best in the world, and you put them together into a symphony, and then you have them backing Yo-Yo Ma as a cello. So there's a 512-piece symphony. Now that is what I'm talking about. That's a richness and a sound that's going to heal the vibration, right? That's going to bring it, right? Whereas if you just have one player by themselves, it can do good things. You know, CBD by itself um, is, is still better than pharmaceutical drugs. But that's not how it was meant. And you're not giving yourself the best opportunity to fully experience this miracle plant the way it was designed to help you. Our body has an endocannabinoid system, right? So it's, it's in every mammal, this endocannabinoid system. And our, we can get cannabinoids like CBD or cannabidiol through broccoli and kale, human breast milk. Our own body makes cannabinoids, right? They're called endocannabinoids when the body makes it. And in the CBD form, it's called 2-AG. And if you get the cannabinoids for a plant, you know, it's, it's, that's where the cannabidiol, you know, CBD or cannabidiol comes from. Um, and so that's where those, those phytocannabinoids come from. The phytocannabinoids come from the plant. The endocannabinoids come from the human or the mammal that makes them themselves. And so that endocannabinoid system that's in every single mammal, when you give the body more whole plant cannabinoids, it like boosts the body. It boosts the endocannabinoid system. And that endocannabinoid system is monitoring and balancing all other nine human major systems. That's why we see such incredible results across the board, regardless of the diagnosis, because it's helping whatever system in your body is out of whack to get it into homeostasis and balance. So there you have it. I hope I didn't go too far into the techno babble, but look, these are the facts, you know? And yes, it's a little geeky, but these are the facts. This is the science. This is why you tried CBD and it didn't work. Or you tried other CBDs, they didn't really work, you weren't really sure if they were working, and then you found our products and they worked. And you're like, why did yours work? Well, that's why, because we respect the plant. We leave the plant as mother nature intended which is whole plant, eat it, juice it, cold press it. That is the way it's supposed to be intended. And when you do that, you're giving your body the best chance and brain to, to find balance or homeostasis and overcome whatever that issue is that you're having. 
And if you do the other things that we talked about on the show, drink plenty of good water, clean water, eat good food, whole plant food, sleep, exercise, mindfulness. Those are the five pillars. You do those five things. I'm telling you, you can, your body will blow you away with what it can do. Food is our medicine. What we put into our mouths will determine our health. What we put into our minds will also determine our health. You have the power to take control of your health. Yes, find wonderful physicians or health practitioners, functional medicine, holistic healers, whatever works for you. But don't just go to the first doctor and just take whatever they say as, you know, the facts. Do your own research. You know, if you get into a fender bender, do you, do you just go to the first mechanic and whatever they write the estimate for, you, you pay them, right? No, you go get three estimates, right? And, and I'm telling you to do that with your health. Do your own research, figure out your own philosophy, and find some health practitioners that are on board with you. What makes more sense to you? Playing the gerbil, you know, pill game? You know, try this one or try this one or try that one. Or instead of, you know, getting vitamin C from a a capsule, getting vitamin C from a fresh uh, orange, organic orange that you grew in your front yard like we do out here in California. What do you think your body's going to respond better to? Going to get more vitamin C out of the whole orange that you squeezed that morning and drank? Or a little capsule of vitamin C that was pulled from the from the from wherever it was pulled and, and and put into a capsule that you swallow down which one do you think your body is going to be more receptive to that's going to have more effect that's going to help your body and your body's going to know what to do with that's the difference here that we're talking about you know when it comes to why all cbd is not created equal so at the end of every miracle plant podcast we say heal the world that is the mission i hope i brought some clarity uh, so you understand a little bit more about why some cbds work or some cbds don't work or why ours works and others don't um, from what we've been told from others now i hope this at least gave you some insights now go do some research yourself um, and 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 find out what i'm telling you is true Um, and and you know become your own best health advocate is what I can tell you, because we can't rely on the system that the way it's set up currently in the United States. Uh, you know, I was recently in the hospital with my brother who had some uh, a jaw surgery. And, you know, when they were telling him to leave the hospital, they were reading him what he should do. And he should be drinking Gatorade. <laughs> like, you know, they were using like name brand stuff. And I was just I couldn't believe it. Like, go ahead and take some Advil. Like they were saying Advil, reading it off of a script. And I'm like, you're telling someone to take, you know, Advil along with Gatorade, along with hydrocoding, and they must have given them four or five different pain medicines. Uh, it, it's a ruse. It's a ruse, man. And, and you know, there, there, there is a better way. And I implore you to trust your instincts, to do your own research. And, and uh, you know, this miracle plant was so important to my family to help my son, um, you know, recover from his uh, diagnosis that he got uh, when he was, uh, you know, at three years old. And, and I know it can help your family as I've seen it help thousands of families with my own eyes. And uh, again, we're on a mission to heal the world, reach a billion people by 2025. So if you like this, if you like this podcast, if you learned something, do me a favor and go review it. Take two seconds and, and review the podcast. Forward the podcast down to someone. Post it on your social media. Take a picture. So others out there who are looking for a miracle, who have health challenges that are just pray, praying for something, that they can find this podcast, that they can get some hope. Because there is hope out there. If you eat right, if you think right, if you drink right, uh, exercise right, sleep right, you're going to be all right. So on the count of three, let's say heal the world, get out there and do it. Whether we're smiling at people and we see walking down the street or we're passing on a podcast or we're just passing on a little bit of information that we had that worked for us. So on the count of three, let's say heal the world, get out there and do it. Ready? One, two, three, heal the world. 
Thanks for swinging by the Miracle Plan Podcast. Be sure to tune in next week. Happy healing, everybody, and be a blessing. Thanks for listening to today's show. To check out more great cannabis podcasts, go to podconnects.com. Here's a preview of one of our other shows. Hey there, this is Cheryl Murray Powell Esquire, and I'm the host of the Terps in the City podcast. I am a cannabis agricultural dietary supplement and trade attorney. I'm also a hemp farmer, and I've been recently named to the list of High Times Magazine's top 100 influencers in cannabis. I'm inviting you to follow me along my journey as I move back to New York to support the adult use market there. You're going to get a chance to listen to conversations with some of my friends along the way. I look forward to seeing you at Terps in the City.